We are in Bedonia, a small village uh, 90 kilometers away from Parma, which is uh, the capital of uh, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan is something that, that we all have been growing up with in Italy. It's the kind of cheese that babies start eating because it has a lot of qualities. Let's start our journey. Let's go. We are about to experience the whole process of uh, making uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. We will be starting by the very first phase, which is the processing of uh, fresh and raw milk. And this is the truck, collects the milk throughout the region and then brings it here. And through this pipe goes into the system. This is the very first stage of what happens when you make Parmesan. So yesterday evening this was full of uh, uh, milk. It stays there all night long and then in the morning it is skimmed and it becomes like this. This is uh, milk without the fat, without cream. The cream stays there. After that, the second stage, fresh milk of today, put here, that will be mixed with uh, yesterday's milk without the cream, uh, which has been uh, resting all night long in uh, this. this is a recipient uh, which is uh, metallic on the outside and it's uh, uh, made of copper inside and with steam the milk is uh, warmed up. After that the next phase is to put serum, give acidity to the entire process. Now we have been going through this first part of the process which starts the previous night. So everything has started yesterday evening with milk, which has been then uh, mixed with uh, fresh milk this morning and has been given temperature and uh, acidity with the serum. Extremely interesting. The Parmesan uh, gets its uh, value throughout the month and the years. It's a matter of fact that when you get a 48 months or even 72 months Parmesan, you get the real uh, excellence of Parmesan. So this is just the beginning. We have been experiencing only one day of processing and uh, we'll have to wait a few months more to get an excellent parmesan. This is a tradition that has been going on for ages and the process is always the same. Of course now mechanization and uh, the food processing industry has been improving a lot over the years and Italy, as you know, is one of the most uh, relevant and important countries in this uh, sector. So the process is maybe more sustainable, more efficient, but the steps, the tradition and the result is always the same compared to what was happening uh, three, four hundred years ago when Parmesan was already there on our tables. This is the following uh, step. So the milk has uh, already uh, become something strong, looks more as cheese. And as you see, he's doing something that in Italian is called the spinatura that I would not be able to translate into English. This is something that happens, uh, uh, let's say, 12 hours after the raw milk has uh, entered. In a few steps, you can already feel that cheese is coming out from there. So this is exactly what happens after the spinatura. It's the cooking of the, of the milk. It's the last four minutes, three to four minutes. Then there is, of course, always a human touch because as you see, he's checking with his hands. So according to what he notices, it's, it might be three to four minutes. So now, if you were here, it's extremely hot and there is steam ongoing. This will reach 44 degrees over there on the thermometer and then it's done. So it's 3 to 4 minutes, 44 degrees and the human touch to evaluate whether it's ready or not. Fabrizio, the gentleman who is guiding us, has just explained to me that actually the degrees are not uh, in uh, Celsius, but in another scale called Rumor, each Celsius degree equals 1.25 rumors. So when it's uh, 44 degrees, to understand that it's ready, actually it's more or less 56 degrees Celsius. So this is an instrument capable of cutting then the raw material and to start producing the, the big parmesans. Just uh, a few hours have uh, passed by since so this is raw milk entered and look look at this look at this this is the forma di parmigiano which is the big big circular uh, part of cheese that you know 
quite iconic also, that is coming out after this first part of process. Let us see, you see, it's extremely heavy. There it is, you can start seeing it. It's magic, beautiful, beautiful operation. Tradition and innovation. So now they are dividing this first big forma di parmigiano into two. So this is the quantity that will uh, turn into two forms of parmesan. You see, it's like the delivery of a baby, it's fantastic. While uh, I was shooting, I was wondering how to say in English the shape of the parmesan, because in Italian it's forma di parmigiano, probably the most uh, uh, effective way of calling it is wheel. Look at the texture, it looks like a sponge. Now with this tube they are emptying all the leftovers of the milk here, of the serum, so that only the cheese will remain, like this. Now it's emptied, you see, that's at the bottom of this cylinder, that's exactly the shape of the parmesan wheel. So in each one of these basins, there are the two wheels that I showed you before, for a total of 37. So each day they do 37 wheels of parmesan. The first initial part of uh, processing parmesan is almost over and I believe we will be going then uh, in another room where the wheels will be made. After this process is over, now we are getting into the rooms where the parmesan will start resting. So this is what happens the first days. What you saw before is gonna stay here until tomorrow morning. And today, each three hours, they're gonna turn it two times. After two times, it, it comes here. And this is our yesterday's wheels. Then tomorrow they're gonna change from plastic uh, to the metallic one, which has very small holes that allow the cheese to breathe and uh, has the shape that we know of uh, Parmesan. And it will uh, be branded with what you normally see on the cheese. Italia Forme di oggi, questa è con la fascia di plastica, sono di ieri, questa è dell'altro ieri. L'altro ieri? Sì, qui è un presalatoio, formatura, stanno due giorni. This is the situation until the day after tomorrow. So after the three days wheels are put here in this salty water and it's uh, very interesting because it's the first time that we can smell in the air, very fresh air by the way, uh, the real flavor of Parmesan. Now, after four days, and this is what happens to the wheels. So the wheels will remain under this salty water for 20 days back in the water and after that we'll go in a, in a dry room where they're gonna be laying for one day before their final destination. After 20 days this is what happens. They come in this room to dry. It's a little warmer than the previous room and you see you can see here the, the branding of Parmigiano Reggiano and the smell is always stronger. So the more you proceed towards the end of the process and the more the smell of Parmesan gets stronger. Look at this. Incredible, just incredible. So there are 14,000 wheels in this uh, uh, area and each one weights 42 kilograms. They keep them here for one and a half, 11 months and then they shift them to another place where they can wait for the different kind of uh, ages that parmesan require 24 36 48 60 90 months even look at this it's just an amazing an amazing result and these wheels arrive here after 20 days raw milk enters this factory 20 days can you imagine and then it's glory so this is the way you understand whether the cheese is perfectly well done or if there are or if there are also problems in that case you use it but you don't sell it like this if the cheese is fine then you you do this this means it's a it's a quality certificate and this cheese was made in april 2020 
so 48 months. When you do the operation of the hammer, you understand that there is a problem inside, that it's not uh, compact. Then you still uh, burn it like this, but you put these stripes here, which means that it's not a cheese that you can sell as a whole, but you have to open it and sell it in pieces. Tradition, innovation and sustainability, the three pillars of our industry in the world. And Parmesan represents in this an incredible example, very tasty example and very iconic also example. I hope you enjoyed this tour. This is a tour in our history, in our present, but also in our future. We love this cheese, we love Italy, we love its industry because Italy is simply extraordinary.